Am I gonna have to add more ums? A lot. <laughs> see you there. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, well, today I got a little video for you. Um, sitting in our bathroom. Uh, we renovated this bathroom about three years ago. And as you sit right here on the uh, throne, there's something that at least my eye and definitely my wife's eye just naturally goes to. And that is a huge crack that goes from wall to wall um, where the she rack is obviously cracking. Uh, there used to be a wall kind of from right about in here, exactly where that crack is. Uh, we busted out that wall just to extend the bathroom out um, a couple extra feet that way. And um, although it wasn't a load bearing wall, I still feel like it was holding somewhat um, of the weight and it's kind of settled down. Um, that's my excuse anyways. Um, if you ask my wife, um, there's not much stuff that I'm not good at but she would say that uh, I'm not good at sheetrock or welding. Um, but so today um, I've watched uh, some YouTube videos um, on how to potentially fix some cracks. We've got cracks over on this side, there's cracks there. I've got sheetrock screws that are like popping through and we're gonna try to fix that um, today. Uh, kids are up skiing. Uh, Jenna's down having a girls weekend and I've got all day hopefully um, to just kind of putz around and try to figure out how to fix this. I'm going to do it the cheapest way possible and that was just buying sheetrock mud. Uh, I'm going to kind of cut it out a little bit um, and hopefully fix it for seven dollars versus covering it with like a shiplap for probably a hundred bucks or something, I don't know, but so that, here we go. We'll see how, how this goes. Wish me luck. All right, uh, first step is I gotta get some of this stuff out of here. Um, uh, just so I don't make too big of a mess. Jen's got plants everywhere, so I gotta get those out of here. Um, I am not going to cover anything just cause I'm being a little lazy, but I think I can do it without making too big of a mess. Um, sheetrock mud usually cleans up pretty easily, so I'm not too worried about it, but. So first step, gotta get everything out of here. Watching some of the videos on YouTube, I think our problem um, with these screw holes popping through like they are is we never used uh, an actual sheetrock screwdriver or whatever you want to call it, gun, sheetrock gun. So I think I pushed the screws too far through the paper and that's what's causing them to kind of buckle down like this. So, holy cow.
if this video is posted any, anywhere, it's because it's worked. If you guys never see this, come looking for my body maybe, I don't know. No, my wife will never kill me. She's probably not gonna be very happy because So if you can see, right here there's like a crack and there's a crack, right? It kind of goes through this whole way over here and then it continues on just a little ways, probably right to about here. So that's where the two sheets meet together, right on this seam here. So hopefully just fill that with some sheetrock mud, sand it down, paint it, and it'll be good as new. I think I've got every single crack kind of debrid, debridement, debrid. I don't know what you would call it. Took every crack and made it a bigger crack so then I could fill it with some sheetrock mud. I bought this, $7 Menards. I probably won't need all of this, but they didn't have a smaller one. Actually, they did have like a little one like this big, but I wasn't sure how, how much it was gonna take. Um, so basically I'm just going to fill these cracks up, fill with the um, sheetrock mud, do a quick sand and then paint and then hopefully be done, I don't know. I, uh, I'm very hopeful. You want belly scratches? Do you want belly scratches? Boy, take your sweet time. I can feel it clicking as I move that over so that actually means that it's not in far enough so I'm going to try to screw it in a little bit further here and now I'll be able to fill that hole so maybe it isn't that it's going too far maybe it's just that I suck at sheet rocking all that's better. People on YouTube just make sheetrock look so easy. It's not. Believe me, it's not. Oh, man. Yes, I don't have all day. Hello, this is Ted. Hey, Ted, it's Megan. We need you for a foot x-ray, please. Thank you. I gotta go. All right, so I'm back. Uh, like I said earlier, I have all day. I 
kind of lied about that. I'm on call, so if I get called out, then I've got to leave. Um, I am on call for a local hospital, and it's crappy weather out. Roads are nasty, so it might not be a good weekend to be on call. Uh, but we'll uh, continue on. I can already tell on this other one that I did earlier that we're gonna need more than just one coat, but what do you do? All right, we'll let that dry for a little while, probably an hour or so, and then, like I said, I can already tell on this one over here that's starting to dry that we're gonna need to put another coat on. So we'll maybe do a light sanding after it dries, put another coat on, and continue to hope for the best. Everything looks pretty dry. I'm just gonna sand it really quick um, with a little sanding block and then we'll hit it again with another round of sheetrock mud. All right, so it's much later. I've been called out a couple times for work. I guess I can't um, really complain because I'm doing this project um, while I'm on call, so I'm technically uh, making minimum wage um, being on call. So. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just try to sand the rest of this room so we can get another coat on. Just using a wet washcloth to kind of just get all the dust off there so I can see a little bit better of where I need to refill everything in. Basically just repeat the process. Okay, I'm done with hopefully the last coat We'll let that dry for an hour or two. Um, it's pretty dry in here, so it shouldn't take too long, but as soon as it's ready for a sand, I'll sand it and clean everything up and then hopefully paint and all the cracks will be banished. It's not as easy as you'd think to videotape yourself and not try to fill those voids with some random sound. Uh, but I promise I'll get better as we take videos. As you can see behind me, everything's painted. Um, I spent the, let's see, there's an on. Gosh, you gotta work on that. I spent that night painting. That added a lot of time. I didn't videotape any of it. Uh, sorry. The cracks actually look really good for right now. A lot of the videos I watched, um, some would say we should have used tape. My wife thinks we should use tape. We'll see how long this lasts before it cracks again. I'm very hopeful that it doesn't, but if it does, then we'll try to fix it a different way, I guess. This isn't a how-to video. This is a how-we video, so that's how we do things. It's not right, it's not wrong. If you really want to know the true way to do it, you can YouTube, you know, how to fill a, a crack on YouTube. Uh, look in the comments below maybe. There's experts that always chime in on what the right thing to do is. So you can always check that out too. But yeah, I'm happy with how everything turned out. And I no longer see 
a crack in the ceiling. <laughs>